this is Lori from Shoe Shoe Paper Art, and I'm going to show how to make this cute little gusseted bag today. Um, on another video, I did a um, technique uh, video for Cut Out Plus Keep on the watercoloring, and I'll link to that if you want to see that video as well. So let me untie this, and we'll take a look here and see how it works. Nice little pocket and gussets in case you want to add something a little bit thicker. Um, not all of us have an envelope punch board, so um, I wanted to show how to do it without one. But if you do have one, uh, the punches are three and a fourth and four and a half on all four sides. And then from there, it's the same. So um, let's get started. You're going to start with an eight by eight piece of paper. This happens to be a 110 pound cardstock that I printed this pretty uh, vintage confetti paper on that I'll also link to. So um, let's start on the back. Um, I'm going to use a pen for this. You might want to use pencils so you can erase it. But let's make this really easy. Let's start by turning a point up and making a mark on it to remember that that's the corner that we're working on. And then just on the exact opposite corner, let's go ahead and do the same thing and make a mark. And trust me, this will be easier as we move along. Okay, so from this corner, we're going to do just a little bit of measuring. We're going to mark three marks on each side of the marked corner. We're going to mark at four and five eighths, which is the mark right between four and a half and four and three fourths to make that really easy. We're going to mark it at three and three fourths, and we're going to mark it at three inches. And I also find it helpful just to go ahead and put a little three there. That'll make it easier in the long run. Okay, same corner, just turn it, and we're going to make the exact same marks. So we're going to start with four and five eighths. Okay, and then we're going to mark three and three fourths. And then we're going to mark it at three inches. And let's go ahead and mark that as well, a three. Now we're going to turn it to that other corner that we marked and do the exact same things. We're working on the opposite corner. So let's mark all three of those measurements on the other corner. And I'll speed this up just a little bit to move the video along. the two corners marked on both sides, you're going to need, um, you can use a scoreboard, which I find to be very helpful. If you don't have one, you can use a ruler and a bone folder, okay? So let's talk about what we're going to line up. The first score that we're going to make is going to be the threes, and we're going to match threes on the opposite corners. So I'm going to match this three to this three. And I'm going to line those up. Now, I happen to have had my scoreboard marked for something else, but it makes it really nice and easy when you're doing something on points like this to just put a little pieces of tape or, um, see I've got one down here too, um, little pieces of tape or post-it note or something so that you can make sure you're on the same score um, I don't know what these are called, wells or something, okay? So I'm going to score from three to three, so let's do that. And then I'm going to score the three and three-fourths to the three and three-fourths. So I'm gonna line up those two, okay? Now I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, so opposite corners, three to three, Line those up on the same little line there. Okay, three to three, and then three-fourths to three-fourths. Okay, now, 
on the same corner, I'm going to line up the four and five eighths marks. Okay, so I'm not doing opposite corners. I'm keeping it on that same corner. Okay. So lining up those marks. And I'm, then I'm going to turn it and do it on the other corner as well. The four and five eighths marks, line those up. All right. So now we have um, most of our scoring done, but here's another thing that will make it much easier to make those gussets. Between the three and three fourths scores, I'm going to go ahead and make another score right down the middle. Now you can go ahead and mark that if you wish. I just <laughs> go ahead and eyeball it. Um, if you're into a perfection, you just go right ahead and mark that. I'm, I'm just gonna uh, take my chances here. So a score right down the middle uh, between the three and three fourths inch marks. So this is diagonal corner to the other corner. So let's do the other side as well. Okay, and mark right down the middle. Okay. Now, in your uh, scoring, you have made a, a triangle right here between the three inch mark and the four and five eighths mark. We are going to cut that triangle out. So let's do that now. In fact, let me just mark one here so you can see where it's at. There. And then from the four and five eighths, right there. And we're going to cut that out um, on all four areas. So let me speed that uh, the tape up and moving this right along. So now I've cut out all four of those corners. Now let's fold the gussets. We've got three score lines. So let's uh, bend that forward or across the back of the box. Okay, I'm going to take the, the next score and fold it back. Oops, didn't do so well with that one. There we go. And fold the next one right back forward then. So you get kind of an accordion fold there, okay? You're going to do the exact same thing with the other side. And I'll speed this up just a bit. Okay, once you have the gussets folded, you want to do just a couple more scores to make these um, ends fit over the gussets easier. So just take your scoreboard or your ruler and give yourself about a half inch from um, the other score that you already have right there. Give, give yourself about half an inch or maybe, mm, maybe a little less. Okay, go ahead and make a score mark. Do the same thing here. And then you'll be ready to fold this one up as well. Okay, so let's fold that on both of those score marks. This one you don't want to fold back, you just want it to go the same direction to give yourself a little space here at the top and bottom. So let's do the same thing at the other end. Okay, and now you're ready to do some gluing. Okay, so uh, you're going to glue, put a little dot of glue, little dot of glue, and then you have your open tops. Now, but if you want to, you can go ahead and round these corners. It's entirely up to you. The um, envelope punch board has a rounder, and it kind of seems to make it look like a little more finished. Whoops, I didn't do a very good job on that one. There we go. Now it's still kind of iffy. There we go. Okay, so that is entirely up to you whether you want to do that or not. All right, then you can 
decorate it any way you wish. This one has the little deer on the top. I um, used a little bit of glue to put some ribbon around it to hold it closed. And a little tie, you know, there on the front. So I think you can find quite a few uses for this cute little gusset bag. So thank you for joining me today. Remember, you can find me at shushupaperart.com.